Welcome back to Mbox Frustrated User Guide. Ever wish you could work an Mbox using the TV remote? In most cases you can, even on an old MXQ. Here's how. MXQ with Android 4.4.2, which you're seeing here, is one of the very few TV boxes that I've tried that works perfectly with consumer electronics control. Consumer Electronics Control, also abbreviated CEC, lets you control your TV box using your TV remote as well as your MXQ remote. Now, let me show you how this works. The first thing you have to do is see if your TV supports Consumer Electronics Control. This is a Vizio, so I'm going to turn on the menu and I'll scroll down to settings and I'll scroll down to CEC settings click on that CEC function obviously we want to enable it which is right here at the top we're enabled now you go to device discovery please wait and it's found my inbox isn't that amazing so I can back out of here Here we are now on my MXQ. Now watch, I have my TV remote in my hand. I can control, I'm pressing the buttons on my TV remote, and I get to control the box using the TV remote, as well as the Mbox remote, so I can use either. That gives me a second remote to control the box with. But wait, it gets much better than that. Because I'm going to turn off the TV. I'm going to aim this at the box so you can watch what happens. Now using the TV remote, I turn off the TV. Now watch the blue light on the box. Nobody's going to touch it. Here are the two remotes. Nobody's going to touch them. off. So the TV remote turns both the TV off and the box off. Now watch, I'll turn the box back on using the box remote. Box is on, watch the TV. TV comes on. Isn't that wonderful? Now this is uh, an unadvertised feature. It works perfectly on my MXQ. So if you have the same motherboard, if your MXQ has the same motherboard as mine, this should work for you and you have nothing to lose by trying it. So again the procedure is you use your TV remote, you turn on your box first, that would be step number one, then use your TV remote, go to settings, here we'll go through the steps again. So on this one I have to find the menu button, We scroll down to settings. Somewhere in your settings there's going to be a C. Not all TVs have consumer electronics control. On some brands it's called FunLink or something else. It's kind of brand specific. You turn it on. We have it enabled here. You go to device discovery. If you have more than one device that can be controlled, it will find all of those devices and you have to select the one you want to work with your TV remote. Only one, one device can be selected at a time. Even if you've got five different things plugged into your TV that could be controlled by this, only one can be selected. The other thing, this only works on HDMI. If your TV box is connected to the AV input, which would be the yellow RCA jack, this is not going to work. Consumer electronics control is only for HDMI, but it's very useful. It works great. I, I really like having a second remote. So here, let's try it again. I'm going to use the TV remote. I'm going to turn my television off. Watch that blue light down there on the box. It takes a minute for 
30 seconds or so for it to turn off. There it goes. So pretty nice, a really nice feature. If you've never tried it, you may wish to try it. Now let's look at my Mbox settings. So I've turned it back on again. Okay, in fact, we'll use the TV remote. How's that? Okay, network at the moment. I'm connected by Ethernet. Notice that HDMI auto detection is off. Hide status bar is off. That's why we have the status bar down here at the bottom. Advanced. Remote control is off, not on. Google TV remote is off, not on. Digital auto, audio, auto detection, off. So essentially everything is off. You don't have to have any of these controls turned on for this to work. So if it's that easy, why don't more people know about this? Too many variables. Here's a list of trade names for consumer electronics control. Of the TVs I'm familiar with, only Vizio identifies CEC correctly. Like Tomcat's marking territory, other manufacturers put their own spin on it. Am I the only one who thinks that's unnecessarily confusing? Then, there are settings differences. Every TV and every Mbox sets up CEC differently. My H96 Max RK3318 with Android 9 has three CEC switches in settings. And my MeCool KM9 with Android 10 has four CEC switches in settings. The fourth auto change language switch is a curiosity. When that switch is on, the system language switches to Chinese every time you turn on the box with your TV remote. Then there's the quality of the HDMI cables that typically come with TV boxes. Here's a chart showing HDMI connector pinouts. Note the function of line 13. If line 13 is disconnected, CEC can't possibly work. Any wonder the box that came with this cable wouldn't work with CEC? Now, here's a real shocker. None of the TV boxes I've purchased, no matter how little or how much I paid for them, not even my expensive Mikuls, came with a properly wired HDMI cable. Using an orange color HDMI tester like this, I found multiple lines disconnected or crossed in every single one. So if you can't get CEC to work, you may need a new HDMI cable. These Minix HDMI version two cables have worked very well for me. They're wired correctly. They're soft and flexible. If I had to order more today, these are the cables I would get. One final tip, stay away from really thick HDMI 2 cables. Braided cables work great with Blu-ray players, DVRs, and cable boxes, but they're so inflexible that they tend to twist little TV boxes 
right off the table. Well, I hope you found this info useful. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you did. Likes and comments really help the channel. Thanks for watching.